Hi, Chris Matson here. For a long, long time, thousands of years, we have been in what could be called dark ages. Uh, different uh, traditions call it different things. There's Indian prophecies, the Vedas, uh, the, the Kali Yuga. Uh, in the Bible, they talk about the power and principalities of the air governing, and then a golden age coming. And each one of these prophecies prophesies essentially the same thing, that we're in a time that is picture like a frozen land and that everything is ice cold and, and completely barren and frozen, right? And then so the people for all the generations, they've adapted to this being frozen uh, to the point where they don't even know what spring and summer and harvest really is of what uh, the land can give and the beautiful sun. And where we're at right now, collectively in the world and also uh, individually, we're all feeling this. There was a point not too long ago, many uh, say it's in alignment with the Aztec calendar of 2012. Remember when they're saying this big thing was happening in 2012? Well, picture that like a, a fan that's plugged in and the blades are turning. When you unplug the fan, the blades still spin for a little bit, but they don't have power. Uh, in that very same analogy, it's like now what's going on is the systems that are from the old way, that which was from the frozen uh, state of beingness of the world, uh, is now no longer working. And it's picture that when the sun comes in the spring, it's what melts the ice and gives birth to the seeds that in all the time before were dormant. Now picture that there was a force that was in charge of maintaining this winter and doing its best to hold back the sun. And then now the sun is just so powerful that it can't uh, negotiate with that anymore. And it knows it's losing control. And in every way, it would be like a chess game where this dark force that is creating this cold, uh, it knows that its days are numbered. So it's doing all it can though, uh, to destroy as much as possible, to maintain control for as long as possible. And the power though, the energy is moving and shifting into the springtime. And so individually, each person on the earth right now is witnessing this. And some have already totally melted and dissolved into this beautiful spring. They're no longer frozen. And those we could call awakened ones, way seers, uh, enlightened, just, you know, together, they see through it all, all the narratives and things going on and they know that this beautiful golden age is coming. And then there's others that are still like blocks of ice, still frozen into the 3D narrative of what was. And there, there's no better or worse here in terms of, um, of any judgments or anything. It's just the sun 
has shown more on the ones that are uh, awakened and the heat from the mountain around them or whatever has has made it so that they were able to uh, to see sooner than others and as they do it's like they're a warm water going over the ice but yet the ice is resisting going i must remain this frozen ice and so in the collective consciousness which means all of us gathered together like if you put the uh, inner being of everyone on the earth in one big pot that would be the collective pot so to speak uh, we are past the tipping point now where if it was like a bowl of solid ice it's now more slush and water than solid ice we are waking up collectively and now it's at the point where the more that that which is trying to maintain the freezing they no longer uh, are able to the more they're doing things like uh, saying things on mainstream media people are going wait a minute that just doesn't make sense let's see now they're telling me this but that just doesn't you know like who's behind the curtain there with the mainstream media and then they find out more and more about bloodlines and uh, who's controlling things how six corporations uh, control all the mainstream media that includes the radios the tv all the news broadcasts the, they're censoring on the internet and on and on and on that there's a, you know a certain amount of people behind the curtain so to speak and so now the frozen system uh the world that we're emerging from it was we were all born into it and uh the generations before us were completely immersed into it they were like in the dead of winter the sun hadn't uh, risen enough returned at that time and uh we could say everything has been corrupted it has been controlled um we were uh, taught to believe in authorities you know like you know uh if a scientist says it well you know it's true and this is the way the world is and this is what it's shaped like and it came from big bang and then there's uh all the the things like you know you must be prep this is what money is and this is how it it we run the world is run so you must make money you know and you must pay to live you have to have a job and you have to go to school and and you know all of these things are that frozen state they are not the golden age they are not what uh it's intended to be here uh so what we're doing right now is we're moving from this frozen state where there were uh, a few controlling the many and they had such control that literally every aspect of our life financial housing uh transportation uh, energy judicial uh you know, education, military, countries, uh, authorities and government, monarchies, all of these things are constructs from the frozen state that we're moving from. As we move into becoming free, one of the first steps is recognizing uh, one of the biggest lies which was that I am a little tiny microscopic human with a very short lifespan that is essentially powerless. And after, if I'm lucky, I might make it a hundred years, which is just a, 
a glint of, of a sparkle. And then after that, I'm gone forever. And I'm floating through this infinite space on this big ball that is just randomly going on. You know, that is that frozen state. Whereas the reality is that they have to keep the truth from you, the ones that are operating this frozen state. Because if you knew who you really are and where you are and really what's going on, uh, the whole system would crash literally within seconds. We would be freed. We would be uh, manifesting and creating incredible lives for all. Uh, who we really are is pure consciousness. That is awareness, the I am. We are in a field of potential. Uh, I call it the mind of God. We are literally within the I am that I am. There's so many different names. A beautiful name I heard once was the Supreme Real. Whatever words you use are part of the frozen system though. Because as soon as you say a word, you're putting it into a box and then judging and its duality. In the um, in when the sun returns, we don't even use words like uh, God, etc., even consciousness or awareness, because it's all we, we use words from the heart that the English language and other languages which were created uh, to keep us in this matrix, right? So that if because they know that if the mind doesn't have a word for it, it won't process it if it's still in the program, in the matrix. And so as we awaken, we become uh, way seers that go beyond words and descriptions. Way seer, what a beautiful word that is. New earth. Now, anything that's true a part of the matrix, a part of this frozen system is to try to ridicule and put into the mind program of, of the database of people that that is somehow bad or, or somehow you can negate that because it's, you know, this. Uh, a good one for that is conspiracy theory they've got it programmed in the mind conspiracy theory equals you know something that is is just don't even pay attention to it right and so again that's part of the programming that as we wake up we recognize that's one more tool that this frozen force is that, that's keeping people frozen, that they use, things like that. Uh, another one is New Earth. Uh, they'll say, oh, that's New Age. And then that'll be another line that they have, you know, uh, to try to sway people away. Whereas New Earth, what that simply means is uh, people leaving the frozen state, the illusion that has been fabricated, which is all about corruption, lies, deception, and beliefs that are not true into what is real. And from that, that consciousness, we literally create a new world. The collective consciousness is freed and a new earth. Now there's a difference between earth and world. Uh, the earth is our realm, trees, lakes, sky, sun, moon, flora, fauna, all of that. 
and that has no borders, no banking systems. That is just the beautiful earth, right? And it responds to consciousness. So as we collectively move into pure love, uh, the earth itself will respond in kind. The world is what the collective consciousness has manufactured upon the earth, such as uh, these beliefs like school, uh, prisons, military, money, borders, passports. All of these things are in the world uh, that have come about through contracts and agreements uh, swayed and persuaded upon us by this dark force that is the ones that have manufactured this frozen state. Uh, so they have brought into our world all of these things that actually enslave us and disempower us. So now though, what's going on is as we quote unquote are witnessing the sun, the warmth that is dissolving these old systems. At this moment right now, there's a lot of pushback. They know that their days are numbered. And so they're trying to do what's called the Great Reset, where they want everybody to be completely under their control uh, so that you can't buy or sell without using their systems. Uh, they want people to be enslaved to them. Who are them? Uh, what we know for sure is that there's been 13 bloodlines that have uh, basically on their, their middle level, so to speak, that have been uh, uh, taking control for centuries. Uh, above that though, we know that everything is spirit. Uh, you are spirit. You know, your physical being and even the earth is just a very small part of the aspect of everything we are, such as your consciousness, your awareness. That's not physical. Uh, your thoughts, you can't weigh those or measure those. Those are, but yet they're an aspect of you. Your emotions, your feelings, even your beliefs. None of that is physical. You can't go in the brain and go, there it is there, right? It's we are, uh, the physical bodies are receivers within this interdimensional realm. And so uh, that which has been governing is more of a spiritual nature. And it's been very dark, corrupt, uh, fear-based. Now notice even right now with the narratives, you know, around the, uh, the COVID thing and the jabs, all of this, they're based on a fear and uh, the mainstream medias and are using it. And to a frozen person still in the program that they were born into in the matrix, they'll buy into it. Oh, the media is saying this, it must be true. Whereas the person that is, is waking up, they, they go, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I know the agendas that they want to see happen. So now I see why they're saying, oh, now the next variant and this and that, and we need lockdowns and uh, you can't fly you know, on and on. It, it makes perfect sense, all these pieces of the puzzle as we wake up. And now the good news is, is that um, uh, we are entering the golden age. Uh, how many casualties will have to happen between uh, us entering that will be dependent upon how quickly those that are still frozen uh, uh, 
become aware, become filled with the love and the light and the truth. The truth will set you free. That's not just the saying from this frozen state as you recognize the truth and you accept it and you move into the heart, you become free. Uh, the ego mind, uh, the fear-based reptilian aspect of, of our brains, it wants to resist. You know, uh, it's, it's an aspect of this frozen state. So it recognizes a sort of death. That's why the ego will go into a cognitive dissonance and uh, argue, oh, that, you know, you know, this authority in uh, health, they wouldn't lie. You know, are you telling me that, you know, all these doctors got it wrong, you know, and blah, 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 you know, and, but yet, as we uh, leave the program, we recognize that, yes, they're just as frozen as anyone and believing the narratives and the programs that they were taught. And so we are entering the golden age. Uh, it, it's just a matter of time. And we're not talking decades or centuries now. We're talking uh, months or years at the most. And when it happens, it's going to be almost overnight. It'll be like, it'll seem like financial crashes and things like that. But uh, every step of the way, there will be solutions and uh, a beautiful, beautiful expansion. Now, like I was saying, there is, we're now, so many people that are waking up and awake that we are past the tipping point. There, there is no return. And the ones in the upper echelons that are trying to keep the systems as they are, the ultra rich that are manipulating everything behind the scenes right now, uh, they know that it's just a matter of time. But, you know, they've got nothing to lose now because they, they, it's, it's all or nothing. And that's why you're seeing this insanely stupid stuff being said on media and all of this right now, you know. And so at this point, uh, the new earth way seers are spreading the word. They're on... Uh, alternative media. You, one way you can tell them is because they keep getting blocked and censored on anything that's mainstream. So they're creating different, you know, when they get shut down, like especially YouTube, you know, and, and Facebook censors like crazy, things like that. But you'll find them. They're, there's always, you know, they're water. They keep moving. They'll be on Rumble and BitChute and DTube and different places like that, you know, they, they just keep going forward. And you can tell uh, when it's true as you're moving in the heart, you know, you can discern truth. Uh, so that's what's going on right now in the world. And I encourage you to surrender uh, the ego mind move into love, move into the heart. Because we're in a field of potentials and we are literally within the mind or the beingness, the consciousness of the supreme real, whatever words we want to use here. You know, if whatever religious program you're in, uh, use that. You know, if you want to call this a return of Christ, great. You know, if you want to, uh, you know, call it uh, the leaving the age of Calum Yuga, great. If you want to think of it like the Aztecs and the calendar predicted after 2012, great. If you want to just simply uh, 
know that the human potential moving in the heart and love, we can change all of this. Well, you know, it really doesn't matter right now. What matters is you're moving in love, in the heart filled with light, dedicating your, your beingness to source, to whatever words that looks like for you, use them. I was brought up uh, in, in many traditions, particularly Christian, yet I know that, uh, say, a person like Gandhi, who was one of the first, you know, real impactful way seers of this wave, you know, his thing was Krishna. And great, that was the, the cultural upbringing for him. It's all beautiful, you know. So, right now is a time of not complying to whatever is still bringing and sustaining this uh, frozen state. Just simply don't comply. And move into that which is bringing in the new earth and uh, the awakening within each being. And with that, I love you.